All right, looks like we're ready to go. We're gonna jump right into it. Starting on Dreamland here. Curious to see uh, how aggressive uh, SVAT wants to be early on in this set. Is he gonna look for a lot of uh, laser opportunities or is he gonna wanna just fly at Trife and, and smother him and put on the damage real quick? So far, it looks like a little bit of a hybrid approach. Uh, Esfat definitely did shoot a couple lasers there, but it's not like he was moving away from Trife to try to find opportunities for him. Ooh! Esfat really waited out to go for that back air, but somehow didn't quite find the spacing. You see the drift back on the drill there by Esfat, making making sure that Trife can't respond with either a power shield down smash or a just a grab out of shield or anything, uh, making it really difficult for, for Trife and forcing him to kind of reach a little bit, which is what allowed him to get the up switch. Trife with a super clean edge guard to bring it back to even there, uh, just covering all the options. Oh, what a beautiful little uh, stutter step in that dash dance before going in for the grab. Catches Trife swinging, I think it was a jab. Oof. So far, SVAT seems to just have a great feel for the pacing that Trifacia is trying to play at. Able to just go in at all the right times, throw out the hitboxes right when Trife moves in. Uh, Trife's going to have to really find a way to mix up his tempo to screw with SVAT's timing. Oh, he finds the down tilt. It's a great way to open things up early. Oh, and he gets the double shine. That was disgusting. What a quick way to clean up that stock. SVAT looking clinical right now. Ooh. Try barely finding the ledge there. Oh, another down tilt. He's covering so much distance with that. Uh, even when Try feels like he's safe and uh, uh, SVAT's not willing to break into his space, he's just able to do that with the down smash. Or with the down tilt. He gets the grab. He's gonna go for the down throw because it's too high, I guess. Um, wanted to find like probably an up smash off of that. Oh, I love that to not go for the float there so that he could get down and catch Esbat. Really interesting little uh, switch up on the approach. Trife able to hit away with the nair, but then gets uh, a little bit lower than he probably wanted to and isn't able to fall off the edge guard. Esbat punches, then catches the turn up sort of nullifying its impact altogether. You can see as soon as SVAT recognizes the percents are in his favor, he's willing to just take his time, wave dash around, look for the jab up smash. Uh, and it's just so hard for Trife. What's he supposed to do? Anytime he shields it, it doesn't feel very good. If he ever gets caught by it, the up smash is coming. There's nothing he can do. Uh, and, and it's such a fast move that like trying to space around and whiff punish also feels pretty bad. So tough times to start there. Uh, very cognizant there by Esfat to DI all the way out so that the so that Trife could just float out and hit him once again. But Trife doing the right thing back and uh, floating back in once he missed and covering the subsequent really deep recovery, uh, taking the first stock with without too much trouble. Ooh, Trife finds the air and he's able to go out and get the bear. So four stocks of two. The edge guards so far in this game have looked just extremely painful for SVAT. For, 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 yeah, yeah, for SVAT. Looks for the down smash, but SVAT's ready. He shields it, wave dash shine in, wave shine, up smash. Pretty clean stuff. Ooh, a missed L cancel. It's gonna cost him so much. Try very good at making you pay dearly for your slightest mistakes. That time, uh, unfortunately, not able to follow up the, the edge guard, but... Oh, try floating just above that double jump up air height. Uh, really great uh, vertical spacing there by him to make sure that he's not in danger. Down throw, reads the tech in, uh, you know, very hard to, to resist the urge to just try to take center for free but uh, Trife does so and he gets paid off uh, big time for it. 
The jabs are coming out. S Fat recognizes he's at that spacing. Oh, misses the wave shrine up smash. That would have been a kill. Yeah, there he's able to find the, the tech shrine wave dodge up smash. It's gonna be an easy way to get the kill, but he is still down a stock, so we'll see if uh Trife can close things out here. Interesting to note, Trifasia has not been able to find any uh, big chain grabs and really hasn't been looking for many grabs at all throughout this game. Uh, generally, that's like one of the main reasons why Peach tries to go to this stage, but try fooling to just play the grounded game and, and sort of bait SFAT in repeatedly and just out hitbox him mostly. Oh, here comes a grab. This could just be the game right here. He is going to have to complete an edge guard. Oh, he goes way out there for that turn up throw. And even though SFAT did look for the shine to bounce it away, uh, Trife just waited long enough where SFAT felt uncomfortable uh, waiting to double jump anymore. And then he caught him for it anyway. So good stuff to Trife. But we will be going straight to uh, Yoshi's here for game three. Tough stage for Peach uh, in this matchup. She dies so early off the top as a floating character. Um, we'll see if SFAT can really uh, abuse that here this game. SFAT drifts too far through with that drill and the shine doesn't connect. Try able to get a huge payback for it. I like the choice to power shield the turnip. It's very clear that that, that SFAT is looking for that shine. Uh, so just giving him one more thing to think about on the way back to the recovery uh, is a pretty cool, pretty cool way to answer that option. Uh, we talked early in the set about how much of a read it felt SFAT had on the tempo of Trifasia, and it sort of feels like uh, he's lost that a little bit. Trip has mixed things up enough that uh, see SFAT just not finding the clean punishes or the final hits in the in his combos. So Trip's sort of able to get a, a big a big lead here in this uh, game three that is SFAT's counterfeit. Once again, Trife just having a really good feel for the, the timings and tempos that SFAT's going after and, and punishing heavily because of it. SFAT catches Strife in an awkward position, gets an up smash, but he's still down a full stock and 100%. So, really tough for, for SFAT to make the comeback here. Find himself way behind here. Try finds the shield, able to down smash out. It's not getting the drills, getting stuff started, but not finding the big combos he was getting earlier on in the set. Once again, the wave shine up smash doesn't connect, and. Trife getting out of those is a big, big deal, especially here on Yoshi's where it's going to kill at like 7%. And yeah, Trife with a commanding free stock there on Yoshi's story. Uh, interesting to see if SFAT will go back or if he'll choose to try out something like Pokemon Stadium instead. All right, we're gonna jump into Pokemon Stadium here for this game four. Uh, SFAT really needs this win to be able to force, uh, to, to stay in the tournament at all. Good little wave shine, he follows it up with a down tilt. Oh, but that up air catches the shine bear. SFAT probably thought he had a full stock right there. Oh, and there he finds a jab up smash once again. One of the reasons why you want to get... Oh. What, why you want to pick a stage like Pokemon Stadium is for that super short uh, ceiling. So, working out pretty well here for SFAT early on. Good uh, edge guard there to clean things up by Trife. But... Oh, 
interesting choice to go for the up B there. He does get the hit, but feels like even with that, it wasn't really valued. Tried covering the ledge for so long with the dare into uh, Nair. Just made it really impossible for Esfat to find the timing to get back in. Oh, the up smash trades on that second dare. Tribe trying to get a little cheeky with his uh, low float in, and uh, Esfat just having none of it takes the lead back. Oh, he goes for the double shine there. Uh, before, before now, we've seen him go for kind of a single shine and just uh, get out of town. So interesting to see him sort of up the pressure a little bit here in this game four. Peach gets the fair, but that's about able to Firefox in a pretty aggressive downward angle and find the ledge once again. Ho oh, ho, tries to read the roll away, but Trife just holds shield and uh, calmly waits, his, waits for his turn. Is rewarded with a grab and, and takes the stop because of it. Ooh, Esfat showing a little bit more movement here. He's felt like a, a little bit of a hold-in machine for the last game or two. Like to see those little wave dashes and the followed up with the up smash. Uh, ends up taking the, the stock and, and reclaiming a pretty sizable lead here. Again, these up smashes, Trifa uh, floating right at this height where it's pretty annoying to deal with, but if you just commit with the full big hit, you can just catch him out of the air. Strife showing a, a willingness to, to go for some pretty aggressive dash dances. Pretty uh, pretty close into Fox, all things considered. Um, so far, SFAT hasn't been able to just fly at the back of that dash dance and get a punish either. So, seems to be working out pretty well for Trife so far. He gets the shine. That's going to do it. No problem. Game four in the books. But Trife has earned his way back to a... Uh, counter pick, so we're probably going to get to see Fountain for this decisive game five. All right, here we go. We're going to go to Fountain of Dreams. Nothing surprising here. But uh, both players sort of feeling each other out a little bit here to start this game five. Neither looking for the big commitment early. Oh, SFAT goes for that shallow nair. Uh, Trife tries to read it with the down smash to catch just the outer edge of it, where there's the hitbox but no hurtbox on her dress. So, uh, really precarious position for both of them. But both sort of get out unscathed. Interesting to see such a slowdown in pace here at the start of this game five. Uh, both players definitely showing a lot of respect and playing uh, a little bit more careful there. But Trife is able to force him off stage, get that up B early, and uh, find the punish with the float, the float out of fair. We get a trade there, but Trife's able to just float his way back down to the stage. No follow up from SFAT. Oh, SFAT able to find his shield after getting tagged by the first hit of that down smash. Uh, that could have been pretty bad for him if he didn't get the shield up right away because then he would have been crouch canceling and eating like 80%. Instead, he catches Trife trying to move out of shield on the top platform with an up, smash, uh, an up air, and we're back to even. Uh, Trifasia definitely, you know, holding holding his ground a lot more, waiting for Esfat to come in, and Esfat getting more and more particular about what uh, approaches he chooses to go after. Uh, that said, Trife is still able to find the big punish and get a nice little edge guard to close out the whole stock uh, with a full stock lead. Trife looking to be in a good position to move on. Oh, he goes with the shine. That would have just been like a straight kill if he had found it, but Trife just floats all the way in and doesn't give Esfa any chance to find that connection. Tries to float, float in aggressively off the first nair, but uh, Esfat's able to shine through it. Oh, great air dodge. Esfat could have gotten the kill with that up air for sure. Yeah. 
Trifasia doing just a great job of finding all the right moments to uh, throw up the shield. Can be really tricky with Peach in a lot of situations. So really great on him to find those moments. Um, and also just not to get stuck in shield either. He's shielding very carefully and, and only doing it in the right spots right now. SVAC continuing to show a huge premium on his movement, uh, but still just having a hard time breaking through Trifasia's defense and finding a big opening. Oh, ho, ho. he's finally able to find the up smash, but he's already taken 123%. Uh, he's finding himself in a pretty big hole here. And ooh, that Nair puts him off stage. Trife's gonna have no problem closing that out with a little down smash. Oof. Esfat really needs a big combo here to bring it back to even. Oh, he finds the down tilt. Oh, great SDI on the up air. But Trife's still in a tough spot. Oh, he's able to move around the back air and get a nair of his own. But the drill shine up smash off the ledge. That's some 101 shit. All right, we're in last stock. Sfat with a relatively sizable percent advantage, but let's see if he can find some magic here to close it out. Oh, the down tilt, really clever by Sfat, but Trife still gets a shield up just in time. Oh, the back air, is that it? Oh, the shine! Oh, he goes for the second shine, but Trife just mashes Nair, and that's gonna take it. Trife barely, barely pulling it out. Bit of a sigh of a relief, bit of a cheeky grin. Trife moves on to face face roll.